Jacksonville, Florida, the river city by the sea, known for its bridges, its beaches, and this Toad Daddy Serrano, the coolest car impounding cat in this corner of the Sunshine State. By getting their hooks into a whole lot more than cruddy old cars, he and his wife have built a fortune worth eight million big ones. So hop on in, listen up. Money on the hook, baby. I ain't gotta be the prettiest. I just gotta know how to count the money. Check it with this batch. Let her know what we got coming to the yard. I'm Vince Toe Daddy Serrano. This is my wife, Vanice, and we are the owners of ASAP Towing, one of the biggest towing companies in Jacksonville, Florida. Good morning, ASAP. Can I help you? On a monthly basis, we're doing 200 vehicles that are involved in accidents, about 400 vehicles that are impounded because they're parked in the wrong place. And we have a large number of people calling us for cars that are broken down that need towing to dealerships and mechanic shops. Where do you want to go to? We do an average of 2,000 calls a month. And the tows range anywhere from $75 to $125 per call. And if that's all they did, they'd be raking in a cool two and a half mil or so every year. But wait, there's more. I got nine. Because they're not just towing these suckers. They're storing them, and they're selling them off. When you look out in my yard, a lot of people will see junk. I see green. So, 13 a quarter, number 32. Great deal. We have over 20 acres, and every square foot is making money. Our sales will break down to about $220,000 a month in towing. In storage, we're accumulating $50,000 to $60,000 a month, and we're doing $80,000 in our auctions every month. Let everybody know you bought a 2014 for $575. Good deal. No one's more green than ASAP towing, but we convert metal to cash. That's kind of green. <laughs> sold, 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 675. And all those revenue streams lead to one hell of a pool of money. Last year, ASAP grossed 4.3 million bucks with an average profit margin around 15%. Hey, it's time to go make some money. Let me tell you the secret to be successful in this business. You have to have a toe fetish. A serious toe fetish. <laughs> we enjoy what we do. Ironically, not enjoying what they did is what got the Serranos into towing in the first place. In 1994, I was working in a paint and body shop. Vance was working for a rental car company, and we didn't make very much. So we decided we want to do something together to better our family. She had saved up about $10,000. I had about $10,000 saved up. And we, we discussed opening up a business. She liked the idea of owning a Subway. Me, I, I don't, I like cooking, but I can't be a sandwich maker. I've got a background in the body shop, so I want to do something with automobiles. So we ended up doing a tow business. Why don't we go cross country and just make money as we go? We became the road warriors. Friday night, I got in that truck, and I'd make a couple thousand dollars a weekend by assisting people on the side of the road. We bought three trucks within the first year. We had one office with one little desk, one computer. And bills were tight. It was tight trying to cover fuel and insurance and drivers. I didn't get a paycheck for the first three years. We reinvested everything back into the company. And we worked all the time, relentless. In fact, I didn't even have a tow truck driver come go pick up my daughter sometimes from school. And with money being so tight, Vince and Vanis needed to find a way to ride the ups and downs of the towing life. One thing we learned early on was to diversify. We did not want to have one big customer. We wanted to have a lot of little customers. So if we lost a couple clients... It's not going to hurt us too much. And today, we have different pots. What do you say? You see any you like? We have dealerships. We have towing contracts with different communities shopping centers, police departments. Diversifying their clientele was a smart move, but branching out into storage and auctions, well, that was a stroke of genius. I think it was 2001 when the light bulb came on and I realized how much we were making in storage income. And I thought, what about those cars that are burned or they're not worth picking up? Then I realized, here's a buyer for everything. It could be burnt. There's gonna be a junk buyer that wants to buy the junk cars. There's gonna be parts for people that want to buy the parts car. And today, we auction off about 140, 150 cars every month at the different locations. There we go. 
go. Got Bonnie rolling in. Now we have six locations. We employ 40 people, and we have a fleet of 24 vehicles with a value of over $2 million. And while you usually don't take business advice from a guy in a Hawaiian shirt, it's kind of hard to ignore someone who turned 20 grand into a net worth of $8 million, especially when this is where he calls home. Our house, we had a custom built in 2004 on a lakefront plot, 3,200 square feet. Has a nice in-ground heated pool on the lake. I love it. It's a real comfortable home. And when Vince isn't kicking back at home, he's busy towing his six-figure speedboat. Where you want to go, babe? Ready to go offshore? Let's go see the dolphins. OK, babe. When you're an entrepreneur, your mind never stops thinking. But when I get out in the ocean in my 33-foot hydrosport with triple 250s, I find peace. It's just pleasurable seeing God's beautiful creation out there on this earth. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Love it. I've been blessed. My wife, look how beautiful she is. My daughters, they're gorgeous. One of them looks just like me, and we have done very well. But we had to take a chance. We bought that first truck, and with a lot of hard work, we're living the American dream, baby.